Greetings everyone, I hope you're all well. Okay, so uh, this is just an update video regarding the uh, Mr. Fu, Mr. Fukian T tree, tree T. Anyway, um, no wand in the world can bring this back to life. <laughs> yeah, um, I'm pretty 100% sure that this guy is now RIP. Um, so let's take a minute silence. No, let's not. <laughs> Um, so again, um, a few people, many people said that it could, I could actually repot this and re prune it before spring because it's an indoor tree. Uh, this proves the case that, um, you can't, if you do, it, it'll die like this one here. Uh, if you look back in, uh, one of my other videos, uh, not so long ago, you'll see that it was nice and green and it had a wire on it. Um, and that's why I know that it's dead now because the branches have actually held in position without the wire. Um, I might do a scratch test here just to make sure somewhere down here. Um, but I'm pretty sure it's um, it, he's dead. Um, little dangly leaf there, look. Oh, such a shame. I was really looking forward to seeing this one flower as well, you know. Um, I was really happy with the style of it. I really like the windswept style trees. I think they're great. Um, so it's a shame. So I think I might. Um, what I might do um, is, if it's still alive, obviously, then I'll leave him be. If it is dead, um, what I might do is use this in a um, like as a hinoki, and somehow find something either like a, 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 a ceresa or a segaratia, something with small leaves um, nothing like a Chinese elm or anything like that because I don't like those and um, plus they're outdoor trees and I don't really want any more outdoor trees um, so something that's you know got small leaves and I might actually try and um, use this as a is it Tanuki? Hinoki? I can't remember. Tanuki. Um, yeah. Which will involve basically wrapping around something so it looks like it's actually part of it, if you know what I mean. But I might, what I'll do first is, when it, if it's definitely dead obviously, is um, strip the bark off and then I'll treat it with some... Um, oh god, what's it called? Some stinky stuff. Really smelly stuff. It's like a sulfur type stuff, uh, which helps protect and preserve it. Um, and it also bleaches the um, it bleaches the wood, so it gives it like a more of a whiter finish. Um, and it'll be ideal really for an indoor bonsai um, if I get it to work. But rather than just wrapping it around, what I'm actually going to try and do is is carve. Like um, I'm going to find something I can use, and then get the initial kind of style down and then I'll basically pencil it in and then what I'll do I'll, I'll use a, um, a micromotor drill which is mainly used I used to use it in glass, engra glass engraving um, but it's also used in dentistry and stuff it's super super small drill and I'll um, I'll carve out the um, like a little well where I want the, um, the actual new plant to uh, to embed into so it'll have a better chance of merging then with this one again it's going to be an experiment there's no guarantee um there's no guarantee with anything you know um but it's a shame because i, I really like the style of this um i know it's got this little here bit thing here but um yeah so i suppose uh grab a knife If it is still alive, I'd be very surprised. Um, I mean, I did check the roots and they're still there, but it doesn't mean that they're still alive. Um, and I'm not sure. I mean, obviously, if it's still green, um, then it's um, it's alive. But I did also read somewhere that somebody said, or a website said, that it could still be alive even if it's white as well. So 
if you if you do know whether that's true, uh, drop us a comment just um, just before I um, hack the living daylights out of it. So I want to try and preserve as much of it as possible because um, you know, and I'm still going to use it in one way or another. So what I might actually do is. Let's see if I dig it down a bit here and try and do it on a lower piece because if it's still green down here then I know it's alive um, but if it's you know if I do it all the way up here it, it could be dead up here but still alive here so I might as well just go full throttle and, and say oh sod it let's go right down to the core here um, plus it will hide the little mark that I'm going to be making as well so Right, I'm just going to cut some of this away. Looking very white there. Something's telling me this is dead. Yeah, it looks pretty dead. There's no green at all. Yeah, that's definitely got to be dead. And if you can see that, I'm just going to tilt it up a little. Yeah. I can't see any green. Um, so that's that, I guess. Um, I'll keep it in there anyway and see what happens. Um, I'm not going to hold my breath, but. I might as well just keep it like that for now until I decide what to do. Um, it's like the only trees that I can think of doing it with, like for indoor, uh, would be um, Ceresa, because then like the leaves are quite small on those, um, or something like um, these. I'll just go and get one of these things over here. So I could use something like one of these, which is a uh, Segaratia Thesen is the uh, kind of boff name for it. Um, but I think it's called uh, a sweet plum. So it's got quite small leaves. And the only downside about these is the branches are quite brittle, so bending them um, would be. Um, a task but um, I have got a lot of cuttings of these so it could be a future project that I could possibly do when when the shoots are um, not quite matured as much as these have um, I've got a few cuttings growing at the moment and they're, they're getting quite long so um, yeah I think I might do something like that with it but yeah if you do think this is still alive, which I very much doubt, but if you do still think that it's alive, let me know before I do anything else anyway. I won't um, disrupt it anymore, just in case, but um, I'm pretty certain it's um, it's dead. Oh, such a shame. Pretty gutted, to be honest. I've lost, I've lost quite a few trees um, over this winter period, um, and um, it's my own fault for... Um, for root pruning them and um, taking advice from, from people really but um, that's my own fault and I've got no one to blame but myself but yeah I might try and look out for another one of these um, I can't remember where I got this one from I don't know if it was um, Dobby's UK or whether it was um, a place called Albrighton um, Gardening Centre I can't remember um, but yeah so there you go that's it 
Rest in peace, my dude. I shall try and reuse you in some way. What I might do is, um, I'll, um, sometime in the spring, um, if somebody does confirm that it's definitely dead, then obviously like, I'll, I'll take it out of the pot and I'll leave it to dry out fully and then I'll strip all the bark off and I'll make, I might do a video on that um, to make a uh, tanuki. I think it's a tanuki um, or a hinoki. Tanuki. I think it's a tanuki. Something's saying that anyway. If I'm wrong, please do correct me. i um, having a blonde day today. Well, grey day, shall we say. Uh, so yeah, just give, thought I'd give you an update on that one anyway. Um, so if you do own any indoor bonsais, um, don't um, don't root prune them. Just don't do it because uh, this is well, this is what'll happen. <laughs> Learn from my mistakes anyway. I mean that's if you're in the UK. If you're in another country, it might be a different story. I don't know. But it um, it didn't work for me. Um, the temperatures in the house have been, you know, sort of reasonably warm, but not too warm for it. So there was no 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 other reason why it died apart from the root pruning. Um, I, I didn't cut a great deal off. I just pruned enough off, um, you know, to stop it from being um, pot bound really. Um, because it was quite hideous. But there we go. Okay, take care. Have fun. See you soon. We out of here.